Ever since he came to power, India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi has been championing a clean India initiative. But while new sanitation is being installed around the country, some workers cleaning that waste are set to be paying with their lives. Ishan Russell reports. Every morning in the small town of Meerut, Shaswati uses her hands to clean toilets. It's just 40 kilometers from India's capital, New Delhi. And hundreds like her are engaged in what's called manual scavenging, the practice of cleaning dry toilets with their hands. I have no other option. We don't get the opportunity to do any other work. I have to take care of my children. The practice has been banned since 1993. By law, the government has to provide job opportunities to those who used to do this work. But conservative estimates say over a million people still earn their livelihoods this way in towns and villages like this one. In cities like Delhi, municipal corporations outsource sewer management problems to individuals like Ram Charan. He says he can't get other work and safety standards here are inadequate. I'm supposed to get proper clothes, shoes and equipment, but I get nothing. In the past two years in India, a sewage worker has died at work on average once every five days. That's happened while the government has built 38 million toilets across the country under its Clean India initiative. Mass construction of the toilets and corporatizing the toilets as a big business, that is happening, that you do. But my question is where there is a provision for the liberation and rehabilitation of the, the manual scavengers. That you have to answer. People employed in this practice are at the bottom of India's caste hierarchy, which propagates the belief that they are born into a job. They will be largely belonging to one particular section, which is the Dalit section and especially the Valmiki section in the community. And they have been doing it for many years. And and their so political economy and social, social economy is in such a way that they cannot move away from that work because of a lack of livelihood opportunities. In Delhi, sanitation workers have now gone on strike. And with no response from the government so far, the protests are expected to grow. Ishan Russell, TRT World, New Delhi. But for more on this, Baswanda Wilson joins us from New Delhi. He's from Safai Karamchari Andolan, a movement which aims to completely eradicate manual scavenging from India. Good to speak to you. So what are you hoping today's protest will achieve? Today's protest has brought the issue of the manual scavenging is one of the national issues. Majority civil society and the manual scavenging community Thousands they have turned and in the parliament street they protested and they asked very clearly the prime minister cannot keep quiet when 1,790 people died in the sewer line and septic tank. And they are also seeking national apology by the prime minister because of 4,000 years we have been engaged, forced to clean the human excreta. With the many more demands, the women and their children they were in a large number. They were yesterday and uh, reached Delhi. And uh, today they had the parliament street, the dharna. This dharna, uh, in the sense, this uh, uh, protest has made the civil society to open. The civil deaths is not in a just a national shame, and it is in a kind of a national issue. If we don't want a just a We seem to have a technical issue there. We were speaking. Well, we seem to have a technical issue there. Um, Beswada Wilson, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. It is, okay, a, so it is, is a not just a technical Not a very healthy yes. connection there, I assume. We were speaking to Beswada Wilson. I believe he's still on the line. Yes, yes, I am very much. Okay, so I'm is this line. trade the result of caste discrimination, Beswada? 
it is uh, because of the the cost the untouchability the dalits like uh, my family members we were in, engaged in this kind of a demenial job if we leave this and to get the any other jobs the governments are no way is uh, protecting or giving any other opportunities so for them the construction of the toilets has been a business then the actually protecting the life of the untouchables and the citizens on the country Buzz Wilson, thank you very much for that insight there.